25. Sun dogs are an atmospheric phenomenon that consists of a pair of bright spots on either side of the sun, often co-occurring with a luminous ring. These are created by the refraction of light from plate-shaped ice crystals, either in high and cold cirrus clouds, or during very cold weather. 24. First discovered in 1995 off the coast of southern Japan, these underwater crop circles had been a mystery for a long time. It wasn't until 2011 when scientists finally realized that these elaborately patterned circles were created by a little pufferfish. 23. Most people have seen pictures of the Great Blue Hole in Belize, however, few know how it actually came to be. It was originally an inland cave at a time when sea levels were much lower, but as they began to rise, the cave began to flood. Today, the hole is over 300 meters or 1,000 feet across, and is 124 meters or 400 feet deep. 22. Measuring up to 12 centimeters or 5 inches wide, the Christmas Island Red Crab is a species of land crab endemic to the Cocos Island and, you guessed it, Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean. Usually, the crabs hide in burrows in local forests, however, each year they migrate to breed. For over a week, local roads turn red as millions of crabs head towards the coast. 21. Speaking of migration, there are several impressive ones in the bird kingdom as well. Every March, for example, more than a million common starlings start to gather in southwestern Jutland, Denmark for their mid-April migration. When the flocks begin to move, they create a phenomenon locally known as Sort Sol, which translates to Black Sun. 20. Located in the town of Nica, Mexico, the Cave of Crystals was only recently discovered in 2000. This cave contains giant selenite crystals, some of which measure up to 40 feet or 12 meters in length. Since the cave is extremely hot, with temperatures reaching up to 58 Celsius or 136 Fahrenheit, it's still relatively unexplored, but it is estimated that these crystals have been forming for over 500,000 years. 19. You might have seen pictures of some really extensive spider webs, but what happened in Wagga Wagga, Australia a few years ago was a truly enormous and unique phenomenon. Due to severe flooding, local spiders were forced out of their homes, but they reacted in a way that surprised even the most experienced biologists. By joining hundreds of thousands of spider webs together, they made a gigantic platform that saved them from drowning. 18. Occasionally referred to as the Everlasting Storm, the Catatumbo Lightning is a unique atmospheric phenomenon found in the mouth of the Catatumbo River in Venezuela. Originating from a mass of storm clouds at a height of more than 5 kilometers or 3 miles, the storm occurs for up to 160 nights a year for 10 hours per day. 17. Found in Yellowstone National Park, the Grand Prismatic Spring is the largest hot spring in the U.S. and the third largest in the world. Notable for its vivid colors caused by pigmented bacteria, the spring is approximately 250 by 300 feet or 80 by 90 meters in size and 160 feet or 50 meters deep. It discharges an estimated 560 gallons or 2100 liters of 160 degree Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius water per minute. 16. Moiraki boulders are large spherical boulders lying along the Kohe Kohe beach in New Zealand. According to a local Maori legend, the boulders are the remains of eel baskets. However, modern scientific analysis shows that they consist of mud, fine silt, and clay cemented by calcite, and that they date back to the Paleocene period. 15. Basalt is a common volcanic rock formed from the rapid cooling of basaltic lava. These formations can take various shapes, but one of the most impressive forms is the column. Millions of years ago, they were just regular lava plateaus, but over time, fracture networks started to appear within, creating some of the world's most amazing rock formations. 14. Found in several areas in China, the Danxia landforms are a unique type of landscape characterized by a striking, mainly red, coloration. Masses of Cretaceous sandstone and limestone have been eroded by wind, sun, and rain for millions of years, creating spectacular rock formations, including pillars, ravines, columns, and canyons. 13. Bioluminescence is the production and emission of light by a living organism. One of the most astonishing examples of this unusual natural phenomenon can be seen on the Vatu Islands in Maldives, which is famous for the bioluminescence display of the phytoplankton, 
known as dinoflagellates. 12. I've already mentioned two examples of unusually massive and impressive migrations, but as for the number of participants, neither of them can compare to the sardine run. Almost every year, billions of sardines migrate northward along the east coast of South Africa, causing a real feeding frenzy for numerous predators. Despite its enormous scale, no pun intended, scientists don't know much about this phenomenon. What we do know is that in the last 23 years, the sardines have only failed to make the run three times. 11. Most ants navigate by eyesight, but some army ants are completely blind, relying only on a special pheromone trail left by other ants. Therefore, if the ant loses the trail, it's possible for it to become disoriented and march in circles for hours until it dies of exhaustion. In this phenomenon, sometimes referred to as the ant mill, the ants can walk in circles exceeding 1,000 feet or 300 meters in diameter. 10. The living rock is a marine invertebrate animal found in dense aggregations on the coast of Chile and Peru. What resembles a mass of internal organs is actually an immobile creature feeding on microorganisms that it filters out of the seawater. 9. Originating in the troposphere, lenticular clouds rank among the rarest and most unusual. As moist air travels up some obstacle, for example a mountain, it collects on top and forms a lens-shaped cloud. Because of their unique shape, lenticular clouds have even been mistaken for UFOs. 8. There have been numerous bizarre cases of animals falling from the sky. In the summer of 2000 in Ethiopia, millions of fish suddenly fell. In June 2009 in Japan, it rained frogs. And in Argentina in 2007, people had to protect themselves from a shower of snakes. Most of these animal rains are attributed to tornadoes and other types of severe storms capable of lifting and carrying bodies of water. 7. Located in northern Tanzania, Lake Natron is a lake notorious for its extremely high content of salt and scorching temperatures of up to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Though some animals have managed to adapt to the harshness, most that venture into these waters find themselves victims of the lake's mummification ability. 6. The Rainbow Eucalyptus is a 6 foot or 1.8 meter wide and over 200 foot or 61 meter tall tree and is characterized by its unique multi-hued bark. 5. Few things can be more bizarre than the weather. An ice storm, for example, is a type of winter storm characterized by freezing rain. Frozen precipitation melts into rain while falling into the warm air layer, and then begins to refreeze in the cold layer below, covering everything with a heavy, smooth glaze of ice. One of the most memorable ice storms ever recorded hit the city of Geneva, Switzerland in January 2005. 4. Snow chimneys are basically remains of little snow-covered volcanoes and occur in many Arctic areas. As soon as the steam and gases leave these vents, they freeze and eventually get covered with a thick layer of snow, turning the volcanic vents into these chimneys. 3. The fire whirl is a whirlwind induced by a fire and often made up of flame or ash. Often taking the shape of a tornado, the fire whirl rotates around a core where the temperature can reach up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,090 degrees Celsius, hot enough to potentially reignite those ashes sucked up from the ground. A fire whirl observed in Australia during the 2003 Canberra Brush Fire had a diameter of nearly 500 meters, or 1,600 feet. 2. Also known as sailing stones or moving rocks, the running rocks refer to a bizarre geological phenomenon in which rocks move and inscribe long tracks along a smooth valley floor without any human or animal intervention. The origin of this phenomenon is not completely clear yet, but scientists suggest it might be caused by a strong wind that pushes the stone on a thin layer of clay or wet soil. 1. The Pororoca wave is an up to 12 foot or 4 meter high tidal wave that travels as far as 500 miles or 800 kilometers up the Amazon River. It forms only twice a year from February to March, and although surfing the wave is extremely dangerous, it has become a popular sport amongst the locals. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here 
or just head to our website at list25.com.